last lady guys I'm really sorry that I haven't been uploading a lot and it's been a long break and I did uh, in the last month I took a break off of social media just in general I was kind of I don't know I didn't really like the person that uh, I was becoming and I just feel like I kind of lost myself a little bit and all the distractions on Instagram or just social media in general I, I, I was over consuming I was looking at my like time or spent on uh, certain apps and the time spent on like apps that just useless apps were just so shocking to me so I just got off it as a whole and I've just been kind of <clears throat> using it as little as possible I guess I mean the only times I had to use it were for like school honestly or to contact somebody but that's one of the reasons that I've been uploading but I'll let you know I'll describe that more in the end of this video because um this video I know it's been like it's been like a month of just anticipating um this video is my 6,000 subscriber special and today I'll be showing you guys a full record video because you guys know that I I do have a little bit of records and uh, I've been collecting for like just under a year now and this is kind of my collection that I've been working with and uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys everything and I'll maybe talk about the records each a little bit but um, before we get started anyway I want to shout out my patreons my two my two guys um, Zidane Alefeo and Ellarine. I, just had to, I wrote down the pronunciation of his name. But yeah, let's get right into it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and I'll be going from like newest to oldest. I just kind of estimated where they would be. I didn't really look up any of the dates that they released, but I just went, like, went by what they sounded. So I'll start with like the newest one I have, and that is.
Absolutely love it. 
Rolling Stones album is Warlock Rock. 
recent album of just a lot of their really good songs. And uh, a lot of songs I like on this album. Um, basically, some of the same as the other songs, some of the same songs as the other ones, but a little bit of difference. And as well as much Rolling Stone songs as possible. I was kind of really trying to get into them and discovering their discography since they're kind of like very good and well known. listen to it yet. Um, I got this album because the other album that I'll show you by the who. And, uh, but yeah, I'll, I've yet to listen to this, but I'll let you know what I think of it when I do. This is the album that got me, uh, kind of like interested in the who. The kids are all right. It is a live show. Live performance of like my generation, and um, I can't explain Happy Jack, um, uh, Twin Together, Pinball Wizard, uh, good songs. And uh, I got this because of my generation, that was the only song I knew it if it felt on it at first. But then uh, I listened to it more, I started liking on the other songs on it too. I think they have a pretty cool sound. Woodstock's in it. A lot of really classic songs from that time. I would, I, as you can tell, I really like that kind of uh, time that's uh, music. I think that time music was just so free and so um, it was just like very uplifting. They kind of talked about a lot of uh, just uh, cool values and things like that. They had, they songs, that's what I like about them, kind of. Uh, the next one I have two of, somehow, I'm not sure how, but I'm pretty sure it's because, um, one was, um, gifted to me by my brother, and one yeah, well, I already had, but, uh, the worst of difference in the airplane is what it's called, and this one, uh, <coughs> covers an airplane, as you know, is very good, but I think that, like, is really cool too. But this one has like, um, what is it? Yeah, a white rabbit, somebody to love. Um, let's see. Uh, Good Shepherd, we can be volunteers. Um, yeah, I only knew somebody to love and white rabbit when I first listened to this, and I uh, got into them a little bit more afterwards. I think they were a really unique band too, actually, because of White Rabbit. I, Watched that whole uh, Woodstock documentary, and that was a really good uh, uh, movie, I guess you would 
voice is just so amazing, a very, very good artist. And I got so much in company of him during his later life. But, um, yeah, I really like Frank Sinatra. I've liked him for a long time, though, probably since, like, seventh grade. I got really into Frank Sinatra and all his singing. I love to sing along with him, even though I could never sound as good as him. And now we're going to enter the more, uh, the more kind of older eras of music. And uh, this will be Mad King Cole. And uh, his voice is just like Sinatra. It's just very smooth and elegant and relaxing. I thought this was a really good album. I can't remember if this had in I Love You for Seven Million Reasons, but that was the main reason I liked um, Nat King Cole. This was a nice album too. And the velvet moods. And I thought like, this is this is nice, you know. Um, next, another one my brother got me, Elvis, uh, his performance. And this one's got a lot of classics on, like Heartbreak Hotel, um, Tonight's Alright for Love, Are You Lonesome Tonight, Can't Fall in Love, just you know. I did. 
us through the era so I'm like I'm not even joking from 50s I got in the 60s from 60s I got in the 70s from 70s I got in the 80s and then from 80s I got into the 90s um I never really got into the 2000s much but right now I kind of am I'm just like they just very nostalgic for me because of how much my brothers and sisters my brother and sisters uh, to that. But yeah, that was the last um, LP. That goes in order by era. But I forgot that I do have some newer um, LPs that I got that I want to show you. And then I have some 45s, and that's it. <laughs> Domino. And this is just a couple of his songs, like Bloom 
his junior year. You know, it's a classic for being a little stressful and hard in terms of work, and definitely has been. It's probably my hardest year that I've ever had, but it's a challenge, and I like the challenge because, you know, you grow the most out of those, and uh, I'm keeping that mindset throughout the whole year, and uh, I'm going to try to bring as many videos as I can possibly to you guys, and if you could let me know some video ideas that you would want to see, um, let me know definitely because, you know, I'm always open to ideas, I'm always open to ideas, and so, yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always,